It's a cheap time lapse showdown. Camel apps versus the IKEA egg timer. And the Yodaphone 2 comes ashore in the US. I'm John P. Welcome to Geek Pete. If you happen to have a GoPro or some other suitably tiny camera that can do time lapse photography, a great way to add some dynamic impact is to incorporate motion. Now, I just laid out $1,100 for the Rhino Slider Evo motorized camera slider, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. But for a more economical solution and one that will fit in your pocket, people have been hacking GoPro mounts onto IKEA egg timers for a while. Looks a little something like this. I've got a Hero 3 Plus here with a huge Brunton battery attached, which will let the camera go for like six hours of straight video recording or basically an in infinite time lapse. I've also got this IKEA Ordning Timer, which you can get on Amazon Prime for $11.23, and we stuck a standard GoPro sticky mount on it. Now, you just snap the GoPro onto the hacked egg timer, twist it, and let her rip. After you do, the assembled time lapse looks a little something like this. I think the video is completely acceptable, but it's a bit choppy because of the analog nature of the movement of the egg timer. The real drawback to the egg timer is that it doesn't have a tripod mount on the bottom, so you have to find a very flat surface to put the camera on. By the way, I use the totally free Time Lapse Assembler app for Mac, which is amazingly only a one megabyte download. And did I mention free? Anyway, I use it to assemble 1,768 images for the egg timer test and 2,284 images for the camera lapse. Now, the camera lapse is a basically more professional looking egg timer, but this time with a quarter inch mount on top and a quarter inch mount on the bottom. So you can directly mount a camera and a tripod. Here's what the camera lapse time lapse video looks like. The Camel Apps is gonna run you 30 bucks and there's a newer version than this one that I have which supposedly holds up to five pounds. The motion on this unit is actually a lot smoother than the egg timer, but the effect is not much different at all. So really, you're paying a little more for the convenience of the mounts and in my opinion, it's well worth it. In other news, you may remember us raving about the coolness of the Yoda Phone 2 in the past and now the phone is finally coming to the US market. Yodaphone launched the device as an Indiegogo campaign, and within the first day or so, they're already at 300% of their goal and climbing. The Yodaphone is a unique handset that offers a standard color touch screen on one side, along with a monochrome e-ink screen on the back that allows you to extend battery life up to about five days by migrating functions to the screen that doesn't require as much power. You can pick one up for 550 bucks, including a protective bumper, and they're estimating delivery in August. And although I'm sometimes skeptical about crowdsourced product delivery dates, I'd be comfortable with this one because I've already got one in my greedy little hands. So they're just making them and shipping them out at this point, not developing it. And finally, a couple of Geek Beat updates. First of all, if you haven't heard, we're using a fun little service called Slack for a big old chat fest for the Geek Beat community. You can get your automated invitation to come join us, thanks to Ken, by visiting geekbeat.tv forward slash Slack. Most of the Geek Beat team is in the chat a lot, and I show up pretty often just to throw a wrench in things. Also, since we're bringing sexy back, also, since we're bringing Geek Beat back, we sure could use your help with offsetting the cost of production. Some of you had been contributing to our Patreon campaign in the past, and we would love to have you back. And if you're not aware, we have a little fundraising site that you can get to by visiting geekbeat.tv forward slash patrons that will let you drop a few bucks a month in the hat for us. Because, you know, Carter the intern is shooting and editing this right now and he has this habit of eating. That's it for this episode. I'm John P. Thanks for watching. <laughs>